One of the main features of activity-based costing is the assignment of cost to performance objects according to cause and effect relationships. This requires the identification of cost drivers, variables that drive the consumption of resources. In ABC systems, cost drivers play the role that allocation bases play in traditional cost systems. They trace costs from activities to performance objects. However, the logic employed to choose cost drivers is different from the one used for allocation bases. Cost drivers are the reason why the cost of performing an activity varies. A change in the level of a cost driver prompts a change in the amount of resources spent to perform an activity. For activities made up of variable indirect costs, the cost drivers are often clear. They cause the variation in the level of activity. For example, energy is often a variable indirect cost that fluctuates with machine hours. It's a cost driver. Similarly, transportation is often a variable indirect cost as it varies with the number of shipments. ABC systems also recognize that there are more cost drivers than just volume as traditional systems often assume. A large percentage of indirect costs are fixed and the question becomes how do fixed costs vary? Fixed costs are only fixed over a certain range. Over the long term, all costs can change. Large changes in an activity performed with fixed resources require additional resources. Consider a production department. A machine is a fixed cost, and increasing the volume produced by an extra unit does not affect the cost of the machine. But what if the volume increases by 10,000? New machines are needed, and the fixed cost increases. Think about the rent of a warehouse. The following line of thought helps identify a cost driver, especially when the costs are fixed. What needs to happen for the cost of an activity to increase 10 times? The answer is the cost driver of the activity that is used to allocate costs to performance objects. For instance, the driver for machine cost is production volume, and for warehouse space, the driver is the number of boxes. An ABC system classifies activities and cost drivers into four types. 1. Unit Level Activity These activities vary with the number of units produced or sold. For instance, more units produced require more labor, or more units sold require more transportation. 2. Batch Level Activity These activities vary with batches. They consume resources when a new batch is prepared regardless the number of units in the batch. For example, consider the setup of the production line to prepare a specific ice cream flavor. Machines need to be cleaned and new ingredients loaded. On the sales side, certain resources are required with shipments, regardless of size. For instance, typing customer information, preparing the invoice, or getting paid does not vary with the size of shipments, but rather with the fact that a shipment happens. Three. Product and Customer Level Activity These activities are associated with the specific characteristics of products or customers. For example, in manufacturing companies, the total cost of product development or product marketing activities are often linked to the number of products introduced in the market. There are also activities that vary with the number of customers, regardless of the number of orders or the volume of products. For example, in financial services, Wealthy individuals are often more demanding than retail customers. Therefore, they cost more to serve. 4. Facility Sustaining Activity These activities are directly linked to running the business. For example, the CEO and his, her management team are required to run a company, so the costs associated with their office do not depend on any specific process. For these activities, it is difficult to determine the cost driver, and often it is chosen somewhat arbitrarily. Luckily, in most companies, these types of activities represent a small percentage of the total cost and do not significantly distort the cost estimates of the performance objects.